Father, thank you for having us here today. Father, just be with us and guide us to make God a decision. Father, just uplift every each one of us here and be with those that have lost loved ones and be with those that are on vacation that they travel back home safely. Just watch over us and guide us and direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Back when we were budget planning, we had allocated those funds for to offset some of the expense of the deputy salaries. Um, that's where we had allocated it. Now we have to certify it so I can move the funds and, and we can send um, our certification in. So we need to set a public hearing and we can move the funds before the budget year is over. You're going to move the funds before what? Uh, we had decided to allocate it for the deputy salaries to offset the deputy salaries, so it'll reimburse the general fund for their salaries, okay. for some of their salaries. There's so sort of all over the board with the, with the new money that we have. Seems like the longer we wait, uh, issuing the money in whatever direction we're going to go with it, that there's going to be so many more options. So now they're talking about we can use it to pay the deputies. Mm -hmm. the, this is not, this is for the, um, Here's this that. is for Title III, no, sir. This okay. is the Secure Rural Schools and Community Self Determination Act. Okay. It's the Title III. Title III. Yeah. So this is resolution? We do. Yes, sir. Is that okay? Y'all can see. Also, the Code of Alabama, Section 11441, defines the requirements for selecting a qualified public depository each year. I have uh, reached out to all the local banks and I've given you all copies of the interest rates that they have agreed to. Uh, Metro Bank has agreed to the best rate at 0.50% for our CD and 0.10% for our checking accounts.
three different budget papers if you look at those they're highlighted in orange there. Uh, one of them is the county engineer's office and he's asking to shift funds from his regular salary line to his overtime line to cover his engineer and training and his assistant engineer to work overtime the remainder of the year for the project. You better figure on um, what the total cost would be on this or what the cost would be if we hired somebody. The Lisa sent me the total cost. It was just over twenty-seven thousand for the um, salary and benefits. Okay. Right. And that was twenty-three. Huh? And that was twenty-three. Twenty-seven thousand for salary and benefits total is what it'll cost. He's already got the money and the benefits. Um, the reason he's asking me. Because he has a higher all the positions that are vacant. So it's not a budget increase, it's shifting. Shifting the money. He's also asking the same thing to shift from one line to the other. Not a budget increase, just to shift funds. And then there's one for nine one one as well. So because she's been understaffed, she has had to use her full-time employees to cover some of the shifts that typically they wouldn't have to work. So it's caused her overtime to go over. So she's asking the same thing. Don't increase the budget, just shift from the regular salary to the overtime line. We also have been asked by the City of Heflin to consider um, adding to a resolution for the tax abatement for a one-time sales tax for uh, South Wire. So they need that added to our... Um, there's old business that's hanging out there from last month and you guys have said to table the pay study that We have several speakers that will be here next week. We have Mr. Greg Flanders, who's coming to discuss finances and management. We have Mr. Leonard Molden, who's coming to discuss his driveway on corner 208. We have Ms. Casey Cavender, who's coming to discuss public service announcements for services that affect the health and safety of citizens. We have Ms. Tammy Pate, who's coming to discuss spraying. We have Dr. Christy Hyde, who's coming to discuss management. And we have Ms. Melanie Spaulding. She's coming to discuss a meeting that she had with the Department of Agriculture and a complaint that was filed against the spring company for breaking federal law. So that's our speakers for next week. Um, if you look in your package, I've also given you the Department of Public Health is asking for the county to help fund the local health department this year. They're asking for $5,000. I put that letter in there for you to look over. Um, that's not something you need to decide on right now. If, if, if you wanted to do that, we could add it into um, our budget discussions. But I just wanted you to see that letter. Why would that not come from the hospital? I asked that same question. Ryan brought it to me before he left, and I asked him the same question. Why did that come to us instead of the hospital? Yeah, I don't know. Probably just asked that. Probably just asked that because we put over the health department. And it just changed back just, what, three years ago? Yeah, but the health department is funded. Some of the funding is through the and hospital. But what I'm saying is, oh. we had it, then we cleaned it up, fixed the bill, and turned it over to the hospital. So it probably come to us because it was, let's reach out to the hospital. See if they got a copy for living? Yeah. Um, also, just a reminder, the back to school sales tax holiday is July 16th or 18th, and that's something the county participates in every year unless you pass a resolution to not participate. 
Um, I have the manufacturer home document that, that you guys have tasked me with. I have that Brady. I sent it to the county attorney. He's reviewed it. He sent it back to me today with his suggested edits. I've not edited it yet. I've not had time. But I will get that out to you by the end of the week. I will be sending budget books and timelines out to our park heads this week so they can get started on the budget process. And I'll also be working on the anticipated fund balances. And then the SEP grant is due on July 20th, so I'm going to be working on that to try to get that turned in. The last thing that I have on my list is just to tell you all that Ms. Hope's pick, Ms. Hope Hicks will be here next week at 5 So she's going to try to come in a little after the speaker's finish so that she can take her spot. Uh, going back to the coal business, maybe Lisa can give us some information on that because it's not something that's ever been talked about in the public meetings. It's just emails and stuff going out. Maybe you can. Well, they'll go from the top to the bottom. They'll start with our job descriptions. They'll take our pay plan and then they'll go around locally. It won't be through other governments, though. It'll be our actual competition that we have around here to build a pay scale that would better benefit the county and the positions that we struggle with. But again, it's something that we would not have to implement if we got it done and didn't like what we saw. I mean, ultimately, it still comes down to the commission. When you, uh, when you uh, put together uh, an hourly rate, can you put together an hourly rate on all the employees with all their benefits, each time vacation time, and once that's all added in to see what that hourly rate is? So I know, I know it sounds like we but I think our benefits, we might be heavy on benefits. You know, people need more money. I know several years back I talked about people can't buy gas for benefits when they're doing flex benefits. But I'd like to sort of see what it costs the county for an hourly employee with all the benefits that we render to them. When you're doing the, uh, the study, it will also include benefits too, will it not? When you're doing a comparison, you're going to, I mean, the comparison has got to also they do the bottom, yes. Because, I mean, that, that's part of the, the funding. I mean, part of their salary is the benefits. So, whoever we compare it with has to have a comparison. Benefits. Benefits, right. So. Liz, you know the list that I have that's got the main year costs per job, you know to keep the person on the job for a year. And that includes all of, all of the holidays and everything. It's, it's what it actually costs the county to keep that person on the job for a year. You know, 2,080 man hours or something like that. So that, that would work. And that is how we set our budgets based on that. One thing also, and I knew when I was up at talking with Lisa the other day, I brought up when we have new hires, is to maybe interview some to where, especially if someone in these offices or even in the road department at, at the county jail as far as that goes, that we put on our website that we welcome that new employee. So that way we'll, the commissioners will know that we hire somebody. Because, I mean, unless we call this one, this one, this one, we don't know if you hire 10 this week or one this week. And that way we can sort of keep up with how the hiring is going. I know we've hired four or five in the past two weeks, right? And so far we've only lost one. Yeah. So. And uh, so uh, I, I think that would be good and welcome to go to work for the county and uh, as we're talking about what we're going to be doing in the future too. So. Have those been in like the, uh, in the jail and the drug department? Yes. But. We've heard a few laws for another person who heard a last night, so mm. it's just, you come in and you go out. So are you still struggling? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We need permission. <clears throat> We've been trying to find someone to replace the corrections officer so we can promote one to a deputy for probably five months, I guess. And we can't do that for another few weeks. And they're going for better pay. Mm -hmm. Chris, will you have the same problem? Yes, ma'am. 
they're leaving to go for better pay, or are they leaving because of the stress? Um, ours usually, if we can get them, if we can keep them long enough to train them, then they leave for better money. But if they can't do it, of course, they just leave because of the hours, 12 hour shifts, day or night, weekends. I don't like the hours of the day. Would, uh, I've had this discussion with Lisa. Would getting these folks to talk about it quicker help out? Um, yes, it would. Um, but like right now we have an issue with one of our most senior members that's been here seven years. She only makes a quarter more than someone off of the street. So I feel like it, you could get them to talk pay, but you've got to take care of the ones that have been here with their senior members as well. Um, so just like I've talked to some of you guys and I've talked to Kim and Lisa, we really would be um, interested in really like a step raise program. We feel like that would be appropriate. That way it takes care of not only our senior members but anyone's off the street. Because we have trouble maintaining our senior members when they make the same and they put in years of service to someone off the street. So step raise deal would benefit to try to keep them for the Yes, absolutely. It would provide a problem. Yeah, I mean, it would help, but you know, one of our problems is over the weekend, a lot of other jails are advertising again, and they're starting to pay more than our top top pay. So if we start everybody to talk about pay, we'd just be where everybody else is starting out. That's part of our problem. What's the difference? What's the money difference? Well, just for instance, I think um, Jacksonville, their jail, they were high. They're starting to pay was third, pay scale was 13 something to 21 for a graduate offer. You know, ours is 10, 13 to 13. Oh, that's 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 that's
still no clear guidance on how everything can be used. It's probably all going to be attorney jargon. It's never going to be a yes or no answer. It's always going to be great. Right. Um, and that might be when we have some trouble with the ACCA. But we're not talking about a, a great deal of money on the repairs. Uh, so, uh, I think the ACCA is anticipating the final rule in September. I think is what they said. So they can have those. Yeah, you'll be all right with September. You think, Mike? If you don't sneak, you don't. I think about it two or three times a day, so I don't want to. So know. at midnight tonight, you call this little site line. It's supposed to be September. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two issues. You got the holiday in the past, 
what you're going to do about pay, mm -hmm. then you got to issue a holiday going forward. That's right. Which would be put in the budget anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll make the budget come down. That would be, and that'd be yeah. something you would talk with Ms. Hope Cakes about adding to the new policy because I think it lists the actual holidays. So that would be something you would have with Well, I don't know. You know, a lot of people don't. I know the county tends to think that we're supposed to mimic everything the state does, and everything in County counties are sitting here talking about trying to get more money, and all we're giving is is a whole day of payoff, not understanding it's an important holiday. But, I mean, what, how much does it cost the county to pay everybody for a day's pay? I mean, right now we got, what, 14 paid holidays? Yes. And then we're going to 15? That's in three weeks. Do we do the holidays in the budget, or is the holidays in the handbook? It's in the handbook. Okay. So that's something we need to talk about next week when we see it clear. But I don't think I don't think the county can continue to feel like we got the money to pay out. And I know we can't compete against Calhoun County. It seems like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of businesses worked that day because they didn't have it in the budget. But it seems like one person can make the call on something like that. Uh, you know. And Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon. And we really can't. I mean, oh, we no. shouldn't be able to. Maybe doing away with one and add this, and that's what the commission wants to do. It's a discussion anyway. Right. Next week. Mm -hmm. well, we don't need to keep trying to mimic what the state can do. We don't have the funding in the state. Well, I agree with that. I mean, you look at the tractors they got out there compared to our tractors. Well, okay. let's make the, what was our budget last year? $8.2 million? Mm -hmm. Dang, a lot of money. Uh, all right. You got anything else? Let's go. Uh, just my sign of resolution, put it on the table, and that's why. Now the screen is though the contract's been fulfilled on this year's program, so it's so. over. Right? Because I just signed a check. I honestly don't know. I, I, don't I talked to me. Okay. okay. That's, you know. You got anything else? Uh, I can just add anything in there. Does everybody have it? Say what, Jeremy?